We begin here at 430 with some new information about a fire tragedy on the main line. Early this morning, flames spread through a home in Narberth, killing a woman who had lived through a lot. For more on what we know about the victim, we go live now to Action News reporter Sharifa Jackson, live at the scene there on Hamden Avenue. Sharifa, bring us up to speed on what you're learning about this. Yeah, Grace, Sarah, I can tell you that this community is really shaken up. We're told that the victim, 66 year old Deborah DeMaio, that she was well known, she was well loved, especially on this street where she lived for the past 25 years. This is a picture of Deborah DeMaio. Friends and family are remembering the 66 year old woman after investigators found DeMaio dead inside her Narberth home on Hampton Avenue Thursday morning. It's been a pretty awful morning on Hampton Ave. Neighbors like Stephanie Cirillo says she was startled out of her sleep when the flames lit up the sky. She recorded the cell phone video. I ran outside and saw the house in a big blaze and um, I knew that my neighbor lived on the top floor and she had issues with mobility so my heart just sank thinking the worst. Investigators say this fire broke out around 3.30 this morning. Dozens of firefighters came out to battle this inferno. It took 30 minutes to get control of the flames. Leaving behind this big charred hole, Lydia Hall came to see it for herself. I grew up here. Um, my parents are from Italy. This is the first an only house really that they bought and lived in since 1971 and still owned by her parents. She says DeMaio was a close friend and rented the second floor apartment for the past 25 years. She describes DeMaio as sweet and loving. She says she lived alone and kept to herself after her husband died. She was also a cancer survivor. Family friends uh, has been over Christmas Eve and parties and babysat my children and it's devastating. And crews, they already began the process of boarding up the home, removing some of the items that were inside of there. Now, firefighters, investigators are still working to determine the cause of this blaze. We're live from Narberth, Sharifa Jackson, Channel 6, Action News. Gray.